this is what Pat brung us. Pat, what is this? This is a 2012, called, it's called a JK8. Mm -hmm. It's the conversion that Chrysler makes for the converting a four-door Wrangler into a pickup. And we're actually the supplier to Chrysler for the pickup conversion itself. So dealers around the country do these conversions. Uh, they've sold about 500 to date. Does it involve a cutting torch or sawzall? It of involves any kind? a sawzall, absolutely. Any good American project involves a sawzall. Yeah, I agree. And <laughs> it takes some cutting duct tape. It's amazing <laughs> that you start off as a four door. When you just do the basic four door to two door, like pickup pick up conversion, what yeah. does that normally cost? The uh, Chrysler sells the pickup conversion for uh, $5,400, and a lot of the customers then sell their top because you get a brand new top. So that takes $1,500 to $1,800 out of that cost. And then we charge $7,800 to do the conversion, the paint, and everything. Um, it varies by dealer, um, but that's a pretty good ballpark. You so guys you end up with eleven, twelve thousand dollars into the whole thing. You guys do the hood. We do. And it's a genuine cowl induction. Yep. Very tough looking uh, hood and uh, some great looking stays here. Just uh, I don't know. Not necessarily aluminum. part of the kit. Like the, the hood, you can buy just in the aftermarket for whoever. Yeah, the, the hood. We actually produce the hood, and this cowl induction hood is designed to work with the new Pentastar. Yeah. So it actually there's a duct that picks up the cold air intake and exhausts the air yeah. up there. It's at a the cool looking hood. So. It's a good looking hood. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good and it's really functional. There's yeah. nothing worse than a fake hood scoop yeah. in my mind, unless it's to make room for like some huge you know, it's, plenum underneath it or part something. Part of part of what we're about at VWorks is you know building real pro. We don't nothing's orna ornamental in, in nature. I mean, we, we make the fenders, we make the bumpers, lift kits, uh, yeah. everything we make. I mean, you can see the welds. I mean, you know the things yes. that we the things that we do are. They're made here. They're made, you know. They're made with a lot of pride. They're, the people weld, put their name on uh, it. by the way, the weld in the front bumper, if you want to call brush br bumper, whatever. The welds look absolutely yeah, I, I amazing. Yeah, I love a good weld. Though. I love a good looking weld. Really good weld. Well. I just love it. <laughs> I've never seen one of my welds because they're all ground. <laughs> you have to, I weld and then I grind them. Put smooth. a little filler on top. Uh, all, all of my welds I usually keep to like underneath the car, you know, just to wow. not embarrass myself. That is really good looking welding. Supposed to look like a stack of dimes. Yeah, it does look like a. Stack how much of it is dimes. machine? How much is people? You know what? It's uh, we do the conversion and it's robotically welded to to put the integrity because it's all sheet metal on the on the pickup conversion. Um, everything we do is fixtured, uh, but it is a level of people that that we yeah. use. I mean, like we were talking about on the show, it's it, it's the quality of the workforce in Michigan that that's still there that. Uh, you know, they they take a lot of pride in putting yeah. their name on this like stuff. Even if you put that in a jig and the pieces are there, you still got to weld that. You yeah. still got to do it right. <laughs> you still got to do it right. Yeah. It is really nice. So let's keep walking. You guys do the suspension. We do the suspension. This one's a four-inch lift. It's uh, with a one-inch body lift, so it's a five total. We do these fenders. Um, we what do, are these fenders made out of? It's all steel. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. Yeah, it felt really solid. We do the rock rails. For uh -huh. uh, for the for the serious rock crawlers, but also to get in and out of the vehicle. Sure. Yeah. Um, again, we do the whole conversion package, and you know, moving along, we do we do the rear bumper on this thing, and you know, we've even had some customers order the T-shirt cannon. We've had a, <laughs> we've had a couple of venues that uh, uh, you know have events at their place that want to shoot T-shirts. You actually the crowd. sell the T-shirt cannon? Yeah, we do. That's awesome. <laughs> What's the range on a T-shirt? Well, if you use a dive tank, it's really far, but we. We, you know, for the show and when we're on tour, we yeah. just we just bring paintball canisters so that we can't get in too much trouble. <laughs> yeah, I think I did a show once where some like chicks came out and fired it in the crowd, yeah. and it hit some chick in her fake boob, and then she sued <laughs> the theater. Yeah, you can't you can't go over. You can't yeah, go you got to keep the pressure way down when you're on the road. Can't go too crazy with the yeah. PSI. So uh, moving around to the back of the red jacket, this is. Uh, so you guys manufacture, you guys have to manufacture the roof and this piece here, yes. right? As well as, what do you do with the bed? How does we, that work? All this is new sheet metal that comes in the uh -huh. kit. Inner, outer, lower, the pants, the right. reinforcements, comes with a new sport bar. Uh -huh. And uh, so everything's designed to put the structure back in. Which is, you know, there's a number of kits that are out there. You know, different companies that make them. And this is the one that Chrysler does. So they've, they've sweat the details to do the crash work and to make sure everything's good. And uh, rear bumper you guys do uh, as well, I'm assuming. And are yep. talking about fitting this thing with basically a, a Gatling gun, right? At some yeah, point. we're building one for the show for Sons of Guns right, right. now that's uh, 
that one is uh, going to involve a uh, basically a rotary. Uh, <laughs> you know, not to let the cat too far out of the bag, yeah. but think of an anti-aircraft station in the back of a Jeep, and you get you get a little idea. So, we were talking a little bit earlier. We were saying one of the obstacles on your end is just if this thing shoots like four thousand rounds a minute, where are you going to put? Yeah, you got to get, get rid of the like, shell. Yeah, just you can't just fire so them you're, off you're into the like, dirt. I guess. Picture right? the the front end of a A10 Warthog. Yep. The gun in that thing, or in something a, like in that. In a seat above the bed. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> doesn't get any more American than that, does now, it? <laughs> now, I say it every show. If there's a cup holder next to it. That's yeah. Like, with your, yeah. Your can of beer next yeah, to it. Yeah, well, you could be, be eating a Coney Island hot you know, dog. <laughs> you know, uh, well, it would look good in front of the Coney Island in Detroit. Uh, Pat, we sure, usually tell be... people to fire up their vehicles because everyone gets pissed. But we don't have anything going on under the hood here, do we? No, you know, this is the new Pentastar engine that Chrysler put out. It makes almost 300 horse. It does a fabulous job. It's a V6. But, but it's a V6. It's a stock V6. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's almost 300 at what, like a 3.4 4 liter? What do we yeah, have it's, here? It's, it's, a, it's a V6. It's, it's close to the 4 liter in range, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, we beefed up a lot of the internals on the axles and stuff to run the 40s. Right. We run bigger brakes. But... Uh, you know, we spent all week up out yeah. here in California, you know, up in the mountains just playing with this thing. This this package, you guys don't do any modifications to the powertrain at all, so you're not adding, no, you know, no exhaust it. intake, none of that. Chrys Chrysler's done such a good job of this thing that, uh, you know, we do 5.7 conversions yeah. for a lot of people and have over the years, but with this new engine, I don't think we're going to see that many. Oh, 5.7 liter. Yeah, we put yeah. the Hemi in. We put yeah, the Hemi the in. Yeah, the V8 Yeah, good. Ugly Americans. All right, Pat, <laughs> toss, out, toss out the, uh, what's that? I'll fire it up anyway. All right. All right. Yeah. All right jump People in there. get pissed. But listen, you guys don't know what a bone stock V6 sounds like? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Looks like they did a little work on this one for the interior, added some, some new seat covers and stuff, and stitched go the, the rear stitched of the car. Stuff back up. God, the bumpers are nice on this car. It's pretty quiet. That's that sounds satisfied. pretty stock. <laughs> yeah, that bumper's nice. Nice welding, nice powder coating, nice, uh, nice everything. It definitely seems very OEM like. Like, like I said, all it's, the, the we're about craftsmanship. Of all of it, but, uh, is yeah, very OEM. we really want to push. We really, really want to push the craftsmanship. We think that that's there's a lot of value in that. There's a lot of stuff that's cheap. It's coming from a lot of different places in the world. That's not that's not yeah. what we're into. I, and I like that it's all steel. Somebody can easily make some sort of fiberglass back to the whole thing and make yeah. it cheap, but it just seems like it's going to crack apart. Yeah, if you feel the fenders, it's yeah. substantial. Well, well toss, you, toss yeah. out a website, Pat. Yeah, we're you, you know uh, we're on Facebook at uh -huh. VWorks, V W E R K S. We're also uh, at www.vvworks.com, and uh, you can also go to VenturesVehicleSystems.com. Well, I feel like this is a good spot to stop. So, <laughs> until next time, it's Adam Corolla for Pat, Matt, and me, who I already said me, saying keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. I don't know what the range is on these things, but I, I'm aiming for buildings across the street. All right, here we go. I know part of the construction is going to be all new air conditioning and stuff, so let's put a t-shirt on the roof of this building so those guys got a little something to find next time they come out here and do some work on it. We're just going to shoot this straight up in the air. Let me hit those power lines first. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we are going to hit the power Classic. lines. <laughs>